What's up, guys? Here we have a uh, Headway Super Beast. This thing from Battery Hookup was $2.99. The time you pay shipping and use discount code DIY or audio for 5% off, you're going to pay about $356 for this thing shipped. It's 24 volt. It has 48 headway cells in it. So there's 24 here, 24 underneath. Uh, I got it in the mail the other day, decided to take it apart. These are like all the bus bars that it had on it for 24 volts. So my plan is I'm gonna build two 48 amp hour banks with this. These 24 in the wife's edge, the other 24 in the uh, black Jeep. Each one of them should support like 5K, probably somewhere around there. But um, I tested it before I took it apart with my multimeter and lo and behold, if it wasn't right at 26 volt. And I know the cells are all balanced because this thing has an onboard balancer already. So I have no doubt that all the cells are good. It's just, you know, you had this on here. Uh, that way you have to take it up like all this off. Long screws holding it together. I've never taken one apart before, but it has some cool stuff in it. Like I had a big fuse over here. Uh, it has a huge industrial relay right here. I probed one side of it had 26 volt. The other side had nothing. So I know that's a switch to turn it on and off. I don't have no idea what it was used for, but right now this is probably the best deal for lithium and car audio. Cause you're getting 300, 350 bucks ship for a 98 amp hour bank. I mean, all you gotta do is use some bars. I'm gonna use these bars. I have to cut them, but I'm gonna use them to make one bank and then I'll buy aluminum and make my own bars for the other bank. But just wanna do a quick video to let you know, this is out here for some good cheap lithium. Peace Guys, out. I started Peace. building a bank and yeah, I ran out of, yeah, I ran out of, uh, bars that it came with this is shaped way different than that one for 12 cells so i threw the cells at a weird angle and they wound up at weird places so that wouldn't work and it had cells put together with these things in that module so i built this and uh what's cool is it's got these little plates that was in that module factory for six cells per bank. So with the end-to-end -end connectors, it worked perfect. And it's got these tabs on it to hook the balancer to. I took the end plates that was on there. They fit perfect. I just went out and drilled holes in it. And I'm just gonna mount these on here. And that'll give me somewhere to mount power wire, ground wire. And I'm getting ready to put the balancer on it right now. So I think I got something going here until I can get some bars to make something for that. But yeah, I thought this was pretty ingenious because this was just a last minute thought. And it's like the easiest way to build a 48 amp hour out of a Super Beast module. Cause like I said, it had the cells already put together with these things in it. And those plates were between them to keep all the cells connected. And it like worked out perfect. But yeah, I'm about to go ahead and finish this video out and get it uploaded. Peace out guys, Based on.